Machi from One Africa Resort. I'm here with my friend from the UK, Trey Young. What to say? Hey yeah. Hey yeah. Okay, ask him how he was. He was like, I'm good, because I'm in Ghana and you're not. <laughs> well, he didn't say all of that, but I'm saying it. So I'm rapping with Trey because I've known Trey for some years now and I didn't have to convince him to come here. He was just like, yeah, I'm doing it. And he did it and he's here. Why are you very exuberant that you decided to come to Ghana? Well, uh, for one, this is Africa. And I mean, as you can see, I've got a lot of melanin. So I'm predominantly African. And coming here is like coming home. Mm -hmm. So this is not a mere visit. This is like coming home to the land of my ancestors. So that alone incited me. Perfect. And so we had other conversations with some of the other Jamaicans and Caribbeans who are here. And we've all heard that there's this sense of familiarity. It's like you've been here before. When you look at the topography and just the landscape, this could be the Caribbean, as you can see. Palm trees, water, all of that. What about the language? I know they speak Twi, we speak Patois. But talk about like communicating with a Ghanaian and how that feels to you as a Jamaican. Now, I find that the language, though, may be a bit different. Mm -hmm. I can understand because it's similar to Patwa. Yeah. So I didn't have much difficulties communicating at all. We communicated on a level, almost like I was in Jamaica or anywhere in the Caribbean, just vibing. Awesome, beautiful. And we know that one of the things that you wanted to do before you came here was to change your name. You were toying around with certain names. You love Sankofa. You learned a lot about Adinkra symbols. We had the naming ceremony last night. Tell the folks who's watching what's your Ghanaian name and what it means. Oh, my Ghanaian name is Kwame and it means Master Wise One. And what day were you born on? I was born on a Saturday. Okay, cool. So if you don't know about the Ghanaian culture, based on the day of the week that you're born, you're given a name and then you can find another name that suits your personality. As Trey was moving around Ghana, they were telling him, you're a warrior, you're a king, and they gave him some names that we're probably gonna butcher if we try to pronounce, but that's the second part of the name and ceremony. Talk about your favorite region in Ghana and why. Well, my favorite region is the Ashanti region. And the reason why is because I found out through my research and everything that that's where my direct uh, ancestors are from, the Ashanti region. So it means that I am an ascendant of the Ashantis. And that brings a whole lot of uh, I mean connotations, it brings a whole lot of love and it means that I am essentially home when I'm in the Ashanti region. Outside of that, it's, it's here in uh, Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. When I found out, when I went to the dungeons and saw what my ancestors went through, it a whole lot of emotions and honestly speaking, I'm not going to do it, but I felt like if I saw uh, one of those Caucasians or colonizers as they call them and uh, sparks may have flown. Yeah. But in anyhow, we are sane people so we know how to manage our emotions and our anger mm -hmm. in different ways. So we channel it in positive ways. Awesome. And then one final question. A lot of us who are on the journey, 35 strong, are thinking about repatriation in some form. We've been to Accra, of course, we went up to Aburi, we were in Pram Pram. We went to Kumasi, we are in Techiman, the Bronafu region, and now Cape Coast. Do you have a favorite part of Ghana that you visited and why? I like uh, Kumasi. Mm -hmm. um, Kumasi to me, it, it seems the culture and the people fuse together in ways that it incites, it envelops me um, to what I am used to. But outside of that, it also gives me to see the rest of the land and the people and the integration is is awesome for, for me. So I like Kumasi. I'm like in this interview, like I'm like, oh my God, what is he gonna say next? So one of the things that we do when we're on the journey is a lot of people, different personalities. We try to meet people to see who they are because we want to get to know them. And you were very forthcoming with sharing your poetry on the trip. Do you care to share a little bit of anything for those who are watching? <laughs> There's so much to this king right here. Any little thing that you want to share? Nothing I, I have cleared right like, now. Like off, yeah. off hand. Are you, were you inspired to write any new material while you were I here? I have been inspired and I have written lots of new material. Okay. All right, so as we are getting ready to sign off, 
how can folks find out more about you and your poetry? Because we know you're going to do a book of poetry. Yeah. And if you're not going to do it for yourself, we're going to do it for you. So how can they find you? Are you on Facebook, WhatsApp? I'm on Facebook as Trey Young. That, that's going to change to my Ghanaian name, Kwame. Good I'm also on, on Instagram as uh, Trey Volutionary on Instagram. Wow. And I'm on uh, Twitter as well as Damal. So you can lo lo locate me on those platforms for now. But oh. uh, later on, there's going to be uh, websites and stuff that you'll be alerted as we go along. Perfect. And like I said, we are happy and live all the way in Ghana, West Africa. And as the group gets ready to return to America and other parts, we bid them safe travels and we ask you to answer that call and come to Ghana for your journey of a lifetime. Peace.